Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Today, I want to look at the Fallout 76 teaser trailer. Kind of um, divulge some of the, the theories surrounding Fallout 76. Maybe come up with some of our own. Who knows? I want to have a look at it step by step. See if there's anything we've missed. Um, point out some of the things that are important. And then maybe speculate a little bit on what the game's going to be like. Because obviously, we don't know much about the game at the minute. So, we have to wait for E3. And E3's... Oh, that's at least a week away, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> oh dear me. Right, but uh, anyway, apologies for... The terrible frame rate on my camera. Um, it's the only one I have, and it's shit. So, yeah. So, anyway, first of all, let's get started. So, um, let's load her up. Got her loaded, obviously. So, we've got the stand. Right, first of all, the, uh, the this coloration is now everything's black and white. I've noticed. So, um, the the screens and everything, the recordings, everything, they're all coloured, which is I don't know. It just seems significant. Now, this is an homage to Fallout 1 and Fallout 3, I believe. That's where it started with the radio kicking into gear, uh, with the little transistors in the back and stuff like that. Uh, pretty standard stuff for a Fallout game, I believe, uh, on the announcement. Now, this here, um, this is the date. Well, a lot of people are saying this is the date that, um, the, the, I guess, the game takes place in, which, is, which seems very likely. This is the, the standard format on the Pip-Boy, of course. You've got the little alarm button, which on the games you would use to, um, at least on the, the first two games, you would use to wait um, and, um, you know, like, pass time. To, to heal up and stuff like that. So this date is 25 years after the um, the bombs fell, um, which is five years after the vault was supposed to open. Let's just press play a second. Right, and this here, it says alarm, vault -Tec radio. So that suggests again that vault -Tec is still up and running and that it isn't 200 years down the line and vault -Tec is completely scrapped or turned into something else. Now, I, I, I personally think that's quite significant, but this is kind of like indicating that perhaps the game is very early, pre-Fallout 1, and um, that is significant in some way. Uh, but this is a old-ass Pip-Boy. <laughs> now, obviously, we can see here they're celebrating. We've got some party cups here, party hat there. There's um, um, some glasses here. Um, I guess, I guess I, if I add a stretch, maybe... Uh, a person of learn, learned, learned person? That makes sense. We've got some comic books as well. Nerd, obviously. Um, and then we've got some um, little monkey. What are they call it? Mr. Bojangles or something? Um, we got a rough as hell bag, uh, but everything else is nice and clean. Obviously, we've got fedora there as well. If take a look under the um, the bed. We've got a toolbox. Um, is that like a toy car, I believe? A baseball? And it seems to be a, like in this room in particular. It says, um, good evening, good morning. Nice little system there. Of course, um, if you go back a second then, I'll just show you. And uh, the reason why I'm pointing this out is because I think they're somewhat significant as to the, the dwellers in the vault. Now, we've got a set of golf clubs here. Okay, we've got baseball. We've got some comic books. Let's go forward a second. We've got a guitar. We've got um, board games. We've got lots of books, lots of toys and stuff like that. This kind of paints an image of someone that perhaps is... Um, an educated person, perhaps um, wealthy, um, to have so many interests, especially maybe born into wealth. <clears throat> Again, here we see um, more um, board games. Of course, we got the um, Vault Tech Stat. Uh, sal sorry, Salutes America. And this is a, um, it's a very particular Vault for um, Vault um, Seventy Six. God, if I can get my words out. Um, a lot of people are saying that it's um, um, a vault for the best and brightest of humanity. So they were maybe Vault Tech employees or maybe government workers or maybe just like um, some of the top minds of their year. So an actual proper vault as opposed to an experiment. Okay, so we've got, we got um, um, a birdcage up here, um, a camera. Uh, we've got, um, what looks like a little mask or something. We won't be able to see a bit more of that as I play, play it on. But we've got like a little bomb here and... Um, one thing I had noticed, and which is why I kind of thought maybe the game is set a little bit further, perhaps the date's just kind of throwing us off a little bit, is um, a lot of the stuff seems already quite old and weathered. But that might just be an assets thing. Maybe they kind of didn't update it, or maybe it's intentional. I kind of think maybe it wouldn't be intentional. Um, sorry, would be intentional. Because um, otherwise it seems quite lazy. And again, here, a lot of these toys are very old and weathered. And uh, the Nuka Cola ones here. But again... That could just signify, and let's see, like a little, little toys and board games as well, and comic books and everything, that perhaps um, that perhaps they are of wealth. That maybe they're antique toys. Maybe that's kind of like a, a thing. They're collectors. Um, that would make sense, I guess. And, of course, uh, we see the video here of the grand opening of Vault 76. And the fallout is settled. You must rebuild. Say, so you must rebuild, meaning... Um, uh, quite could be quite significant here as well. So lots of awards here again signifies perhaps this person is a person of distinguish 
um, and they like to show off that fact. <laughs> Lots of different things here. Uh, this is um, oh, giddy up buttercup there. Um, not just a, a laundry room, I guess. I, I can't see anything as significant. I mean, there's a poster there. You say now this you were invited. A lot of people were saying that maybe this is significant of um, it being a multiplayer game, as in the invitations to play the game with others, or it could just be that you're invited to the party, which is coming up, as you can see, uh, Reclamation Day. Um, which, I don't know, I have some theories on that myself, which we'll get to in a second. Uh, there's some circuit boards here on the floor, some fountain, sorry, on the floor, on the table. Some fountain pens, maybe they're a writer, as well as someone that tinkers with electronics. Um, this kind of, like, all leans into, like, a person, a uh, jack-of-all-trades, like, a master of everything, maybe, would be a perfect candidate, I guess, for a survival game. In fact. More toys, more books. This is uh, the communal area. Now, okay, so this is Reclamation Day, which personally, um, I could think it could go two, one of two ways. Either Reclamation Day is the day they go out and repopulate the world. Although I think 25 years after a nuclear blast uh, isn't a lot of time, is it, if you think about it? It's going to be very irradiated still. But then I guess um, it's no different from 200 years, to be honest with you. It takes a very long time to scrub that radiation out. Um, or I think that maybe Reclamation Day is the day that they reclaim the vault. Now, I'm thinking this less and less now. I thought that if um, if this game was set a lot further down the line, Reclamation Day might have been uh, the day in which, I guess, the vault was like refurbished, revamped, maybe some more people moved in, kind of brought it all back to life again. But I don't think things would be this clean and they would have all these balloons and stuff like that if that was the case. But I don't know. Theories. Theories, isn't it? Obviously, um, again, we, we have more um, indication of sports. Maybe that's like a sports scholarship to get into the vault or something like that. But it does seem like a big theme of this game is um, like baseball, like uh, football, other sorts. <laughs> here, we go. Ah, here we are. I don't know what mark. Um, I've, I've heard what Pit Boy mark this is, but I, I can't remember. Is it a 2000 series? I'm not sure. And uh, we've got... Um, this, I don't know, a lot of people pointing this out, this wire down the back of this uh, Vault 76 um, jumpsuit, which mean, could mean it's customised in some way. Perhaps, um, I don't know, perhaps it's a custom power source or something on his belt, which could work. And of course, it's gold lettering, uh, which again, signifies esteem in some way. So maybe, maybe they're wealthy. Could be. In Vault 76, mm. our future begins. See, in Vault 76, our future begins. So maybe Vault 76 was one of the, um, uh, I guess, the, 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 the vaults in which they plan to repopulate the world, you know, as opposed to just um, one of those test ones. Because um, we know that it was a, a control vault from the Wikipedia. The Wikipedia also said that it's a, uh, it's a DC vault, but it's important to realise that the Wikipedia is made up of just, like, information that people have dumped in themselves, at least the last time I checked. And, um, of course, when I, f like, as soon as this trailer came out, I went to Google, uh, Vault 76, went on the trailer, sorry, I went on the Wikipedia, and didn't actually say that at that point. So I think that maybe that's just something that people have thrown in to kind of throw it off. We'll have to see on that one. But, um, as you most likely would have noticed, uh, the uh, theme tune, I guess the music that was uh, going through the entire time was uh, West Virginia, Take Me Home. So that seems pretty strong that it might be set in West Virginia. I guess, um... Yeah, you, you kind of have be, at, be at a push to think that maybe it wasn't. But um, overall, I think that this um, this world is going to be one that's a, a bit darker, um, especially if it's set at um, 25 years after the bombs fell. There's going to be a lot of damage, just fresh. Not going to be a lot of people. Not going to be a lot of um, establishments. I don't think the raiders are going to be a big thing. I'm not sure how this is going to work because raiders are a massive part of course, of the Fallout universe, um, and only 25 years. And that, that doesn't leave time for a lot of inbreeding and stuff like that, does it? So we have to see. Maybe it's going to be very, like, flora and fauna heavy. Maybe these rapid mutations, or maybe it's just going to be a case of surviving off the land. But I personally do think it's going to be a survival game, and a lot, I know a lot of other people do. Um, I was kind of excited for maybe, like, an upgrade to Fallout Shelter, maybe, like, another building game. But I think there's going to be a lot of um, building mechanics in, in this new game, and uh, I don't know, I'm excited to see it. But uh, I would like to see what you guys think as well. Any uh, extra theories and whatnot that you you might have and get a nice dialogue going. Because I'm excited for Fallout 76 and the sooner the better really. Because more Fallout content is good. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm just sharing some thoughts on what I saw in the trailer. And um, if I miss anything, please let me know. And um, hopefully I'll catch you next time. Ciao.